Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Since last time I spent about three to four hours level grinding and whatnot, and I bought quite a few uh, hyper potions, revives, not as many max potions or full restores. I also bought some super potions for the minor healing, and and I also trained my Typhlosion to 44, Ampharos to 48, Gyarados to 42, Ho-Oh to 44, and Pidgeot to level 40. And my level should be strong enough to take out the Pokemon League as long as I'm consistently healing. How much money do I have? Oh. Actually, I should spend that real quick. I just got done going through a round of the Pokemon League. Uh, let's buy some Hyper Potions. Oh, I can't afford that much. Eh, let's buy a couple. There we go. I don't care about that thousand. Alright, let's go on and go up to the Pokemon League. And no, no one to challenge us on the way there, thankfully. Oh yeah, this guy. Um, I'm gonna want Ampharos in the front of my party because it's very important that he is. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, he's Will, huh? He's trained all over the world. Well, that's what he says until they make four more generations after this, and that's a little hard to believe. Because <laughs> you think he'd be a lot stronger. So apparently he's not been all, all around the world. But does he have the will to survive this match? You're, you're laughing, right? That was funny, wasn't it? What do you mean, no? Well, sorry, when I was level grinding against this guy, that's all I could think about. I rarely ever get the first move on his Zot too. And I really hate how he can confuse me. At least it's not Psychic. Psychic from this Zot too, for some reason, takes off a lot more damage than the other Zot twos he has in his party. Darn it. Ugh. If I can get past this Zot too, the rest of this match is easy. Oh, actually that wasn't too bad. Stop being confused. Thank you for at least hitting the guy. Might switch, uh, might switch Ampharos out after this one. Yeah, all the Pokemon League, uh, I don't want to say champions, but opponents you face are all above level, well, all the Pokemon are above 40. Which may be a good or bad thing. I still have a sore throat from last episode, so excuse me if I don't talk as much or I take more breaths or I'm silent sometimes and whatnot. I hate this Jinx. I don't feel bad doing that to this Jinx. Although I'm going to save the rest of those fire blasts for, well, other Pokemon in the Pokemon League. Way later, of course, but I also have others, so I'm not really concerned for this round through. Now, Slowbro is weak to electrical attacks, so that's what I'm going to use, well, Ampharos for. Man, it's just like most sword throw medicine I take just doesn't seem to work for more than an hour. It's really sad. Like, I took some before I went to school today, hoping it would last a whole day, and near the end of the class, it's obviously worn off, and we have a group assignment to do, which involves a lot of talking, and oh, it was such a pain. The well, only thing I want to do a lot of talking for is either work or this. Now, we all know what Executor is weak to. He's a grass type Pokemon. Weak to fire. He does have uh, this bomb this bomb like attack that is. Well, it can take off a good amount of damage. I think it's called Ache Bomb. Uh, watch out for that move. That move seems to be pretty annoying, in my opinion. Other than that, he's still pretty weak. And he also has Psychic. Yeah, I gotta, gotta watch out for that too. Jeez. He knows how to annoy me like the Ganados in Resident Evil 4. Well, that's okay. This is why I stocked up on Super Potions for damage like that. Ooh, and Typhlosion got the level 45. Sweet. Ah, oh, man, I love growing levels. Swift, huh? Mmm, no. Yes, stop learning Swift. Don't care to learn Swift, to be honest. Another Zot 2, and my Ampharos has, has better health than usual, probably because he's a stronger level by now, which I'd hope, you know. I might be a little underleveled for the Pokemon League, but if you're like in your mid 40s, like most of your team is, you should be just fine, especially if you have the type differences to make a difference, like a good electrical Pokemon, a good water Pokemon, like a strong one, fire. And anything else that you have in your party that will benefit. So you should do just fine. And I recommend after every single 
match against, oh, well, against the guys in the Pokemon League is to heal your Pokemon. Yeah, good luck with that, Will. Good luck. I, I, I seriously doubt you'll be able to stand above all the other trainers. But hey, he has a dream. Doesn't mean he should stop dreaming. Hmm. Let's use a Hyper Potion on Ampharos. Too bad I can't skip that to make that go faster. And let's use a Super Potion on... Or a couple Super Potions on Typhlosion, because... Typhlosion really needs it. Yeah, why not? I, I really don't care. I have plenty to spare. I've saved up plenty of money. Well, I had plenty of money, I should say. Let's have Typhlosion in front of our party for this match. Hey, how's it going? He's Koga of the Elite Four. That's right, Koga from Fushuya City Gym in the first generation game. He's a, a challenger in the Pokemon League now. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, sleep and poison is what I don't like about fighting this guy, but once you get strong enough, you should be more than easy enough to wipe through him. And, like, there's not much challenge at all, really. Alright, Koga. Show me what you got. A Pokemon we haven't seen before. Aradios. Or I don't want to pronounce it. He is weak to fire type. Because he's a bug type Pokemon. A bug poison or bug grass. Along those lines. Actually, no, he's not weak to fire. But it does do a lot of damage. So. Actually, no, he might be. He always drops easily. I just can't remember that his type exactly. Forestress. Ah. Makes me wish I had a flamethrower for Typhlosion, but I, I don't remember when Typhlosion gets flamethrower. Maybe it's 46? I mean, I could look it up, I'd rather be surprised and go, Oh, now I remember! Let's use Sacred Fire. The Sacred Fire should do a good amount of damage against Forest Chris. This Pokemon's likely to poison you if you don't take it out soon enough. So I'd watch out for that. Oh, one shot! Never mind, that was relatively easy. Okay, cool. Who's the next? Muck. Yeah, let's keep ho -Oh out. Because Muck is annoying. Yeah, you know, Muck's worth a sacred fire. Not gonna lie. Although I like to save ho -Oh for the fourth guy in the Pokemon League. Uh, not fourth, uh, the fifth one. Obviously, there's a fifth one. Just like the first generation game. That's the only time it was a surprise. Every other Pokemon game after that is like, yeah. Yeah, we know. We know what's coming. Okay, let's just use Gust now, because I want to save those Fire-type attacks for later. Oh! He's gonna heal himself. I, I really hope he doesn't heal himself. If he does, I'm s I'm not screwed, but it's gonna suck. Come on. Come on. Oh, sweet! He did not use Full Restore. I always have bad luck with him using Full Restore. Like, in any Pokemon game, it's like, Oh, were you trying to hurt me? Let me heal myself. Crobat, let's keep Ho-Oh out. Because Crobat's... Oh, he's part... Yeah, he's a flying type, but ho oh, should be just fine. Although, uh, Ampharos should be a better choice. No, they did not take off so much damage as I was hoping. Fudge. Alright, let's pull out Ampharos. I want to take this guy out more quickly than you could imagine, but I still want to take him out relatively quickly. This is going to poison me, isn't it? Yep, I knew it. So it always poisons me. Ah, uh, Crobat, you're evil, man. Hopefully, this one shots you, because you are weak to electrical attacks. And he's gone. That reminds me. Oh, I was thinking of the Rocky Four movie. Oh, uh, the fourth movie is such a good movie. If you've never seen the Rocky series, I highly recommend you go watch it. To be honest, because not only will it be like a lot of fun to watch, but you'll be able to see uh, Sylvester Stallone, like as he's just getting in the movies. Like he was on a few before that and whatnot, but the Rocky series really is where he really took his his star and became popular and started be becoming a, being a lot more movies and whatnot. And he became a better actor through the Rocky movies too, I believe. Oh, I thank you. I have proven my worth, haven't I? That's why I like Pidgeot. It always takes out that Venomoth easily for me. Especially when he actually got to Pidgeot. Finding that as a Pidgeot, though, is not fun at all. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna want Gyarados in the front of my party for the next battle. Because he'll be... Oh. He'll be able to do the most, I should say. The most damage against the, the next opponent. So you want to guess who the next opponent is, viewers? Uh oh. Is he a fire-type trainer? Actually, no. He's rock. He just has lava around him, just like the Gorons in the Zelda series. He is Bruno of the Elite Four. He trains to be extreme because he believes in our potential. Oh, that is how we become strong. No, well, I am determined. I mean, if you get this far, you might as well just go to the end, you know? I'd say if you get to a brown belt in karate, I mean, you should at least get to black belt no matter which... No matter what, I mean, as long as life issues don't get in the way too bad, you know? At least try. Go to the end, if you're already that close. Okay, hit him on top. I always love using Surf against. I mean, he's not really a threat as long as you have, like, a strong water type Pokemon on your side. It could be anything, uh. It could be an Azumarill, Gyarados, anything else you might find along the journey. Let's go with Dragon Rage. Might do some damage. Can't remember how much Dragon Rage does against this guy. Oh, if it's not a good water type Pokemon, uh. I think Fighting does a good chance against Hit on top, too. Oh, okay, let's use Dragon Rage again. Because all he's doing is using Quick Attack. You'd think he'd use something else, but eh, Hitmontop is not that bright. At least, not when Bruno's commanding him. I never really cared for, like, Hitmontop or uh, Hitmonchan either. Hmm. Hitmonchan has Thunder Punch, I believe. I want to avoid that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go with Typhlosion. Typhlosion would be just fine. I just want to avoid his thunder punching against my water type Pokemon, so. You know, it won't do too much damage, it's still super effective. I've been playing, uh. the new Final Fantasy game, actually, uh, Lightning Returns. Well, new at the time of this recording, obviously. And, oh man, I've been playing it more and more, and the more and more I play it, the more and more I like it and dislike it. Like, there are a lot of things I really like about the game, and then there are a lot of things I really don't like about the game. It gives me that same heart-pounding sensation like Majora's Mask did back in the day. Not as much anymore, because I'm more comfortable with Majora's Mask and whatnot. But, I, I like how Lightning Returns implements like a time system, and makes you think on edge, and makes you rush through things, but then, as your first time playing, it also makes you feel bad if you screw something up, like losing a battle, and you lose a minute of game time in order to, well, an hour of game time, which is a minute in real life, and that, that it kind of sucks. I mean, my first play, not my first playthrough, I'm still on my first playthrough. I lost a few battles already, and just because I went somewhere that was a little stronger than I probably should have, or I didn't do as much side quests as I should have before moving that area, and it caused me to be, well, underleveled, and I got destroyed for it. It's just like hard lessons. And I do like the free roaming sense. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2 was. They were really, really linear compared to uh, Lightning Returns, which is not really that linear now, which is a good thing. Ah, I'm a champ. How did I beat my champ before? Ah, uh, fudge. I really don't remember. So I don't want to throw Ampharos at him. I think I used Fire Blast and Gust. Let's see. You can't remember I beat him with Chan right. I mean my champ right now. I kinda just got past him. Use a variety of my Pokemon. This Hydro Pump would do a lot of damage too. Well, not as much as I'd want though. Okay. I would use two uh two fire blasts, but I, I really don't want to. Come on, make it. You aren't gonna make it. Oh boy. Ah, yeah, at least I did a lot of damage off him. Okay, Gyarados, it's up to you. Let's try Hydro Pump before I end the episode. He's trying to finish this battle. Oh, you would. He wasn't even below halfway. Gosh, I hate these guys for that. Man, they just like to heal themselves, like I do. It's annoying. Let's go with Surf. See how much damage I can get for this one. But Champ is always hard to get by. Once you pass my Champ, this battle's yours. I mean, easily. And there comes another rock slide. Yeah, and this might destroy me. Uh, ooh, that was close. 
Let's heal up. Cause I can't afford losing Gyarados. Man, Machamp is always a problem for me. Even when I was training, I just could not beat him easily. You suck, good sir. Thanks for using your rock slide again. Jeez. Let's take like half my health, if not more. Yeah, figured. Let's try a Hydro Pump. Oh, you would miss! Gosh, darn it, get her dose. Why? I've trained you so well. Kind of. Maybe I should have waited another hour of training before trying to do this as a recording. Gosh. I wonder if my Ampharos can knock him out. I wish I had more, uh, more PP for the Thunder Punch, though. Oh, there we go. Man, that wasn't a pain in the butt or anything. Yeah, yeah it was a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Hitmonlee. You know what, Ampharos can take out Hitmonlee. For some reason, I thought he had another Onyx, but no, he doesn't. So he has Hitmontop, Hitmonlee... Hitmonchan and Machamp and an Onyx. He has quite the variety, doesn't he? Come on. Uh, you know, I think I might want to go with Thundershock instead. Oh, this might hurt. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't hurt that bad at all, actually. Alright, come on, Ampharos. You got this. Finish him. Whew, there we go. Now, I'm sorry that Ampharos doesn't learn Thunderbolt or Thunder. Sadly. I wonder if I have Thunderbolt or Thunder as a TM, actually. No, you don't. Yeah, okay, I, I should, but let me check my TMs real quick. I'll be amazed if I actually have what I need. Dynamic Punch, don't need that. No, I really don't think so. I had my hopes up a little too high. Okay, let's do some healing. Like, reviving for starters. Man, I got my butt kicked that round. But I shall do better in the next one. I mean, the Pokemon type they have is challenging, but not impossible. If you know what I mean. Alright. It's my first time really healing, too. Usually I just stop or... I usually get annihilated after the fourth match. Well, during the fourth match, as far as training at, around this level. But I'll be going all the way today. Hopefully I do well. I'm starting to think I should have trained more, but eh, I'm hoping these levels get me by. Oops, my bad. I want to heal Gyarados. Because Gyarados could use the health. And who do I want in the front of my party? Actually, I probably want Typhlosion. So who is the next Pokemon League? Well, Challenger? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Have a good day.